My name is Andre Jik, and I'm so excited to bring to you the Bitcoin Puzzle Project. So what is it exactly? Well, it's an art piece for your bookshelf or your coffee table, and it's analogous to Bitcoin's blockchain technology. Now, in a nutshell, you have all these people across the world who are using their computing power to solve mathematic equations in order to mine Bitcoins out from the blocks. And in this analogy, you are the miner who has to do proof of work in order to mine the rewards out from the puzzle block. But before I go any further, why does any of this even matter? Hey guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Project. Global News Today announced that the Federal Reserve will print more than $700 billion to bail out the banks in what is being called as the world's largest economic crisis of our time. Riots have taken to the streets as the Dow Jones plummets more than half its value. People have lost their homes, pensions, and have resorted to violence and protests worldwide. The one thing that's missing, but that will soon be developed, is a reliable e-cash. A method whereby on the internet you can transfer funds from A to B without A knowing B or B knowing A. The way in which I can take a $20 bill and hand it over to you, then there's no record of where it came from. So these playing cards come inside a tuck case, a custom tuck case with gold foiling and embossing. They spared absolutely no expense in the making of these tuck cases. Inside you have in gold foiling what looks like to be the creator of Bitcoin and his story about what Bitcoin actually is. You also have a QR code here which once scanned will bring you to uh, a page and I'll let you guys find that out for yourselves. I can really tell these guys put a lot of work into that. Taking a look at the playing cards themselves, these cards are going to be printed with Legends playing cards and there are also more secrets kept within this deck such as a secret marking which I won't get into and I'll let you guys discover that for yourselves. I'm pretty sure knowing Andre and Patrick that there are more secrets hidden within this deck than meets the eye. Obviously the display is beautiful, it looks beautiful on a shelf or on a desk. You can replace potentially the cards that are in there with another deck of cards of your choosing, uh, but I really think that the Bitcoin plus the physical representation of the blockchain uh, really makes a lot of sense in this case. Absolutely beautiful. artist. I make pieces mostly from Lego bricks. I'm Marina Dewey with Uprox. Bitcoin is an intangible currency, but we found an artist who's using it to make physical works of art. 
We met up with Andy Bach at his studio in LA. I make art that tries to sort of shine a spotlight on the connections between humans and technology. And Lego bricks are a really great medium for that. They're sort of these little digitized pixels that you can make real world mosaics out of. I'll take either a pre-existing image or something that I've generated using an algorithm or something that I've designed. I'll embed data in it a lot of the time and then I actually create the work after that. So what exactly is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a virtual currency that is maintained and tracked via a decentralized system. In the case of these pieces, the software actually fully generates a pattern from these secret keys to the Bitcoins. I want to show people visually what something invisible looks like. The pieces I've made take a Bitcoin secret key and they expose it for all the world to see. The money is actually hidden in the pattern created by the Lego. There's a possibility that the Bitcoin embedded in the works of art could actually be worth more than the price I sell the art for. When I initially bought the Bitcoins, they were worth anywhere between $20 and $90. Now the Bitcoins are worth between $300 and $1,500. Someone that's clever enough could reverse engineer the works and actually take the value out of the Bitcoin wallet. The pieces that I'm making are breadcrumbs in our trail of approaching the singularity. The singularity is this concept that artificial intelligence may be created that is more powerful than the human mind. I don't think there's anything really about art that artificial intelligence can eventually do as well as humans can. There's actually a system that I'm working on which may replace some aspects of my job in more the physical sense. There are a lot of interesting artificial intelligence advancements that people should be aware of and maybe freaked out by. 